there's a lot of stuff that happens that we have to be responsible for. And I think that's kind of a big difference between our career field and other enlisted air crew career fields is there's a lot of systems that we have to work on that we have to know about. Just about every single task associated with career field requires the use of technology. Depending on the aircraft that they're on, it could be communications driven, it could be radar driven, they could be working on the hardware, or it could be looking at the monitor and operating the software, the system itself. On my first aircraft, I was a radar technician in charge of making sure that the radar system was working, continually monitoring it, make sure it's not going to overheat. If it did break, then I had to go in and fix what I could to make it actually work. On my current platform, I work on the C-32 and the C-40, which are the blue and white planes, also known as Air Force Two. I'm providing in-flight communication, so phones, internet, everything. If the vice president can't make a phone call, I have to be able to fix it immediately. I think the thing that sets our mission apart is the fact that we're involved in almost every mission that happens in the Air Force. We are primarily the only enlisted operators of radar equipment, data link equipment, as well as airborne maintenance. What a typical mission looks like for me is I'm sitting in front of a console and I am interpreting radar returns. I make sure that all of the returns that I get we can identify and I'm working with ground agencies to discuss radar returns that we're getting if we can identify them in the air. This job does require the use of technical knowledge. We are living in a world with ever-changing technology. It's very important to be adaptable to those changes and be able to quickly learn and apply those new technologies to your job. You have to have an understanding on how different systems work and how they interact with each other. So if one thing is not working, how is that going to impact a different system? How is that going to impact a different function? Is that going to impact our ability to communicate with others? Is it going to impact the radar in other ways? And then how can you fix it? So you have to have a knowledge of electronics and technical equipment.